Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I would like to share with you an important step for MINA protocol. As you know, we have been waiting for ZK breach for a long time. And today, the expected news finally came. Mikhail Komarov, founder of the Neil Foundation, said that the audit of MINA's blockchain proof of state on Ethereum was successful. And we can now start preparing for the release of the ZK Bridge product on the blockchain. Like all of us, the founders of the Bridge, the Neil Foundation, are quite excited about the upcoming ZK Bridge for at least three reasons. Let's talk about them. With CQ Data Exchange, MINA users will be open to scenarios and new ways to utilize their assets, thus gaining new experiences. ZK Apps developers get opportunities to expand their presence by creating integrations that create new value to the Ethereum ecosystem. When one protocol at a time can provide a proof of state that can be verified by another party, the entire industry becomes more transparent and less fragmented, requiring no trust in third parties. These three reasons introduce the Kybris product roadmap that will bridge Mina to Ethereum through the foundation's proof marketplace. What is needed to use the bridge? There are three steps to be taken before the bridge can be used. The first one, proof production. Continuous auxiliary proof of stake generation is required for ZK breach of the MINA. This means that the incentivized proof generator set needs to be regulated. And this kind of proof generator set is based on data from different protocols, for instance, Ethereum's data. This means that should be based on NIL's drop database. This type of proof generator set is regulated by NIL's proof marketplace. The second one, Optimizations. Proof producers must ensure appropriate proof production performance. This means that the software they work with needs to be developed and tuned to the hardware they use most. This requires a competitive environment where proof producers can compare their results and be rewarded in a trustless way. The fastest proof producer for an order wins. Don't you think this is the best way to optimize? Exactly it is. And the last one, verifier deployment. The validator and the internal EVM case management section should be publicly published and tested. Possible guest consumption reductions should be publicly questioned. In this step, tests are performed and publicly published to ensure that the validator and the in-EVM state management partition are working properly. At the same time, the results of efforts to reduce gas consumption are shared publicly. These steps will be coordinated by the NIL Foundation via Discord, MINA channel, and Telegram, and they need the help of MINA's community every step of the way. Together, we will make this bridge usable. So, what about Proof Marketplace? What is the Proof Marketplace? Proof Marketplace is an proof producer marketplace. This can be done using open data uh, like Ethereum, Mina, or Solana. It is an open and competitive marketplace for proof producers. The marketplace is designed by the Neil Foundation, ZK Oracle, ZK Bridge. Dunk sharding or needs drop database is a distributed proof producer marketplace requiring various proofs. You can participate by running any nil nodes. It provides high availability and decentralization. The bridge app will use Mina's proof of state generated by the proof marketplace as a consumer. So the workflow will be as follows. This is how the bridge will work. User creates a ZK app and sends status to Mina. Then the bridge application receives Mina state and orders proof generation using Mina state as input. Proof generators of the proof marketplace 
fulfill the order and return a newly generated proof to the bridge application. The bridge application obtains the address of a validator from the proof market based data accessibility application. The bridge application sends the proof to the validator and finally it can now be executed in the dApp in EVM. In a nutshell, ZK Bridge will store and update the current proof of state of the Mina blockchain in a smart contract on the Ethereum mainnet. Yes friends, Mina's bridge will be like this in general terms. It's not currently available to end users, so it is not directly available on the Mina mainnet. After testing on the Berkeley testnet, ZK bridge will be relayed on the Mina blockchain. In addition, if you want to participate in the proof market, which we have just explained as a Mina state proof generator, as a circuit and proof generator optimizer, or as a verifier deployment, you can browse the technical process and details from the link I will leave below the video. Price wise, we should wait for ZK Bridge to be published on Mina mainnet for a nice price movement. After that level, things will get better for Mina. Ok guys, for the fastest access to all news about Mina protocol, just follow me on Twitter and don't forget to subscribe my channel. See you in the next videos, stay healthy, stay with Mina.